Meta is down of more than 60% since the beginning of the year. So is it a good opportunity to buy this company or only the beginning of a brand new MSN 2.0? Today, I'll share with you my stock analysis on one of the largest companies in the entire world to see if it is a good pick or not at the moment. To proceed, I'll start by analyzing the business model of this company. So how are they making the money and who are their customers? And after I will make a fundamental analysis on this company to after be able to make some price prediction with some brand new value model to help me out with it, which will help me to see if the stock is under or overvalued at the moment. So let's get to it right now. Meta, previously known as Facebook, is an American multinational created in 2004 in the technology sector by a certain Mark Zuckerberg. Nowadays, this company worth over $300 billion and has generated in 2021 over $117 billion of revenue. This represents an astonishing $300 million of revenue per day last year. This company also holds many different social media which are amongst the largest and the most popular in terms of monthly active users where you can find Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp and Messenger amongst the top 10 of the largest social network. Not only that, but Meta is also massively invest and imply in what is considered as the brand new internet, which is actually called the Metaverse. In fact, the Metaverse would be a world where everyone would be immersed throughout a virtual reality world that is stimulated with different VR equipment. It would basically be a massive simulation throughout the one that everyone could have different social interaction with other different people. So as you can see, Meta has two big branches which are divided between the social media network and the metaverse and virtual reality branch. However, as you can see by the revenue and the operating income breakdown, the family app which represents the different advertisement on social media is the main income source of Meta. In the fourth quarter of 2021, this particular sector has generated over 32 billion dollars in revenue for this company, which represents more than 97% of their total revenue for this quarter. On their part for the Metaverse branch, which represents basically the virtual reality hardware, software and content, they have generated over $877 million over this branch in the same period. Yeah, baby! <laughs> and an interesting fact is that since its creation in 2020, the Quest 2 VR headset has sold over 15 million units. Knowing that the average price of each unit is about $500, this would make over the last two years more than $7.5 billion of revenue from it. Pretty incredible, don't you think, for something that represents only about 3% of the total revenue of this company. And with their clients from all around the world, just like their 2 billion monthly active users on both Facebook and Instagram, and the project growth in the future for the metaverse, meta would definitely be a top pick on that side. But in that case, why is that stock massively down since the beginning of the year? In fact, just like companies like Shopify, there are plenty of different reasons that can explain it. First and foremost, obviously, the decline in the economic growth that we have seen since the beginning of the year has had a massive impact on this company. As we can see with the general market that is down of more than 20% since the beginning of the year, plus the different technology stocks just like Meta are usually more volatile compared to the usual defensive stocks, which means that when everything is going good and that we are in a growth period, they will tend to fluctuate higher and have some better returns on the long term. And usually when the market isn't really going well, just like presently where we are currently in a recession while well, those stocks are also massively moving but on the wrong side which means that they are really underperforming what is the market performance at the moment this is the first reason however there are other reasons that could explain it just like the bad earnings that we've seen since the last two quarters for this company indeed we've seen that the first quarter of meta has been pretty good unfortunately the second and the third quarter of this company hasn't been as good as predicted and they haven't been able to beat the prediction of the analysis Another worrying point is that even if Zuckerberg has said that he wanted to invest a massive billion dollars into the metaverse, well, this division has lost more than $9 billion 
since the last three quarters. Add to that, obviously, you have the competition in the social media field that has been increasing massively over the past years with TikTok that has entered in that field. And because of the brand new Apple privacy iOS update, we've seen a massive slowdown into the advertisement spendings. And on that side, you must understand that with the macroeconomic situation at the moment with the Fed that has been increasing the rate, this makes that the general people have less money in their pocket, which means that they have less money to spend in advertisement. All of this has led the different financial institutions just like Morgan Stanley and KeyBank to downgrade the value of this company. And of course, this has had some massive repercussion on the confidence of the investors. And you can also add the different confidentiality problems that we've seen with Facebook in the past couple of years, which hasn't really helped to reassure the different investors in this company. However, if you believe that the social medias are the future and that social media just like Instagram and Facebook will continue to grow in the next Next couple of years and if you believe that the metaverse could be a total success in the near future well let's see if this company is worth your money at the present moment with the different valuation measures as you can see this company worth a massive 300 billion dollars with a super low price to earning ratio of only about 11 which is quite lower compared to the average of the industry which means that this stock on that side would be pretty much undervalued meta also has a great profit and operating margin as well as a great return on equity that is higher than 20 over the last 12 months, we can see that this company has had over $118 billion of revenue. Unfortunately, on the year-over-year -year period, we can see that the quarterly revenue growth as well as the quarterly earnings growth have both been negative. However, we can see that this company has a lot of cash, about $42 billion compared to about $26 billion of debt. But in terms of the risk, as we can see with the beta of the company, as I told you earlier, this stock is more risky compared to the average market. As we can see with the value drop in the 52 weeks change of about 65% compared to about 15% of change for the market in general. And as you can see on the last three years, in terms of revenue, they have been able to increase their total revenue. However, with the increase of the cost of revenue and of the operating expense, we can see that the operating income have been diminishing, which has also had the impact to reduce the earnings before for interest and taxes but as we can see over the three last years they have been able to increase their operating cash flow which has led obviously to an increase in their free cash flow in total now to see what is the price prediction of this kind of company i'll be using many different valuation methods first i'll be using the peter lynch valuation which is basically the future growth of earnings per share plus the dividend yield that you divide by the price to earning ratio knowing the fact obviously that when you multiply the earnings per share with the price to earning ratio you can find what is the current price of this company in the case of Meta, we can see that with a future earnings per growth predict of 12 with no dividend, of course, because it isn't giving any dividend. And with a price to earnings of about 10, we can see that the result is of 1.19, meaning that this stock would be pretty much fairly valued at the moment. Of course, we won't be able to use a dividend discounted model in that case because this company isn't giving any dividend. And finally, for the last method, I'll be using the discounted cash flow model with the variable that will be made, which is the growth rate of the future cash flow that we have saw of 12% earlier, the perpetual growth rate, and finally the discounted rate, which is the weight average cost of capital that we will find. As we can see over here with the cost of debt calculation, the cost of equity, and at the end, we can find what is the, our weight average cost of capital which is in that case of about 8.78 percent and as you can see knowing that the current price of this company is about 115 dollars and that the intrinsic value is about 438 dollars with this model we can see that it is also a buy meaning that this stock would be pretty much undervalued at the moment as you've been able to see in that video, Meta has had many different problems in the past year, which has made them lost many hundred billion dollars of value. However, on your side, if you truly believe into the metaverse system and into the metaverse universe in the near future, and if you believe that all the different social media's importance in our life will continue to increase in the upcoming years, well, obviously, if you take those considerations, you can see that there is a real opportunity on that side for this kind of company. And this is why this stock at the moment could be consider as a undervalued stock nice in any case if you want to find what are the best stocks that you can buy right now in november 2022 check out the video is going to be right over here and if you like personal finance make sure to join the no family by subscribing to the channel for only 0.0 dollars and i will see you soon peace